Welcome viewers, welcome to Physics World by Spark Sudhakar. Now I am going to start a series of lectures in electrostatics. Okay, as usual, we will start from the most basics or fundamentals of electrostatics. Okay, now electrostatics is a subject which starts from um, something known as charge. Okay, charge is a fundamental property of most of the particles. Okay, just like mass. What is mass means? Mass is a property. That's all. See, my mass, your mass means we can say that it is the amount of the atoms or molecules or substances what we have. But when we keep on dividing, we'll go up to the atom. If you divide the atom, you'll find an electron. Okay, what is mass of the electron? 9.1 in 10 to the power minus 31 kg. What is the meaning of that mass? Okay, nobody knows. It's just a fundamental property. That's all. Similarly, charge is also found to be a fundamental property of particles okay charge is also a fundamental property of particles just like time okay just like mass okay now this charge is found to be right of two different types whenever glass rod is rubbed with uh, silk cloth or amber rod is rubbed with uh, fur cloth okay right glass rod is found to have one type of charge silk cloth is found to develop another type of charge okay right and so there are two different types of charges earlier people were calling with by some other names later on a scientist called uh, franklin i think okay has come and said that whatever charge that is there on the glass rod okay let us call it as positive he said okay whatever charge that is coming on to silk cloth okay let us call it as negative he said so the charge are what you call charges are divided into two different types one is named as positive charge other one is named as negative charge okay negative charge it does not mean that negative is less than positive no it is just like name okay it, because it was in europe or in us okay they named it as positive and negative suppose say this if indians are there we indians are there at the time of nomenclature okay what is the names we give to a pair which can have, which always be side by side ram lakshman or ganga jamna like that okay similarly they were given two names positive and negative not like uh, a mathematical negative positive okay and this charge is found to be this charge is a scalar quantity it has no magnitude okay only it has no direction it has only magnitude okay charge is a scalar quantity it is found to be of two types okay one type is named as positive another type is named as negative next one this charge is found to be quantized okay this charge is found to be quantized that is charge is always found to be in the multiples of a fundamental unit okay any amount of charge you see on any object it is in the multiples of a fundamental unit which is denoted by e okay this e is found to be right is measured to be 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb where coulomb is the si unit of charge okay coulomb is the si unit of charge okay the quantum of electric charge is found to be denoted by e usually okay it is equal to 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulombs okay see any amount of charge we see on any object must be in the multiples of this only okay that is q equal to n e l right okay n e means either it can be 1 e or 2 e or 3 e never fraction of e has never been observed okay usually right now this n is equal to n is an integer it can be plus or minus 1 or plus or minus 2 like this okay the fundamental particle called electron is found to have a charge of right minus e that is the charge on the electron is minus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulombs we say okay similarly another fundamental particle proton is found to have a charge this is an electron okay charge on the electron is found to be minus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 similarly right for another fundamental particle called proton is found to have a positive charge okay proton charge on the proton is found to be right plus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulombs okay right on that of an electron 
it is minus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulombs okay this is one type of charge this is another type of charge as i told you right positive charge is not more than negative charge usually what happens suppose there is minus 2 there is plus 2 okay plus 2 plus 2 is bigger than minus 2 by 4 we say means unless i do minus 2 plus 4 i won't get plus 2 that is plus 2 is more or bigger than minus 2 by 4 it does not mean similarly here it does not mean that proton charge is plus means okay it is more than the electron charge that is proton charge is more than electron charge by 3.2 it's not like that this is one type of charge this is another type of charge that's all two different types of charges okay the charge is found to be quantized okay any amount of charge we see in our everyday life right is in the multiples of this e only okay next one what has been observed is this like charges repel each other that is two positive charges okay two positive charges repel each other okay like charges like charges repel each other okay unlike charges that is positive and negative positive positive or negative negative like charges repel each other unlike charges attract each other unlike charges attract each other okay right so attraction is there in, in electrostatics we have attraction as well as repulsion also whenever two similar charges are there two glass rods rubbed with two different silk cloths those two glass rods are found to repel with each other okay whereas two silk cloths also they are also repelling each other but a glass rod and a silk cloth right they are found to attract each other that is right like charges repel each other unlike charges attract each other <coughs> now you take what you call an object has suppose say right n1 number of positive charges n1 number of positive charges so i'll write it as plus q equal to right q equal to plus n1 e okay right and the same object has suppose say i'll call it as q1 and q n2 number of negative charges are there say n2 number of negative charges what is the net amount of charge on that object net amount of charge q equal to q1 plus q2 equal to right n1 e minus n2 e okay this is the net amount of charge if an object or a particle or whatever it is if it contains n1 positive charges and n2 negative charges the net amount of charge on that object is right n1 e minus n2 e if an object is having equal number of positive and negative charges if an object is having equal number of positive and negative charges okay that is n1 equal to n2 the net charge on the particle is zero means that particle is or that object is known as uncharged object or that charge that part that system is known as a neutral system or a neutral object we call it. okay if the net charge if an object contains equal amounts of positive and negative charges that object is said to be a neutral object or an uncharged object okay right now what what are the now what do we observe okay every atom okay all particles or objects are made up of atoms or molecules okay every atom is found to have one positive charging nucleus what does this positive charging nucleus contain protons okay which are positive and neutrons which are found to be neutral or what you call uncharged and electrons will be revolving here okay electrons have net negative charge protons have positive charge neutrons are found to be neutral they do not carry any net charge okay so there is in an atom in a neutral atom there is always the number of proton and neutron both are found to have equal amounts of charges only thing is they are of two different types or opposite si opposite sign in a neutral atom number of protons inside the nucleus will always be equal to number of electrons outside the nucleus as that the net charge q of the atom is equal to zero 
okay if positive and negative charges are confined to an extremely small region of space okay that space is found to be that space is known as neutral that small volume we'll call it as neutral or uncharged and they will not be able to attract other charges here if i put a positive charge here or a negative charge here okay because this is equal amount of negative and positive charges this is getting neutralized here as a whole this atom will not attract one electron or will not attract one positive charge something like that okay right now <coughs> now okay and another oh, thing what has been observed is this charge is what you call conserved total charge is conserved means right charges cannot be created or destroyed okay charges can total charge of the universe is conserved or an isolated system isolated system is system which is not which is not in contact with any other system no relation with any other system is known as an isolated system or so universe or isolated system the total charge in the universe or isolated system is always conserved conserved means what you cannot create a single positive charge or you cannot create a single negative charge okay right positive or single positive or single charge can never be charge cannot be created or destroyed net charge cannot be created or destroyed okay right means i cannot produce a single positive charge or i cannot produce in single negative charge what is the unit of single negative charge electron what is unit of a single positive charge it can be any particle proton or positron there are many particles like this okay it is impossible for anyone to create a single negative charge or a single positive charge or a single electron can never be created single proton or a single positron etc can never be created charges are always produced in pairs that is called pair production okay charges are always produced in pairs okay charges are produced <coughs> sorry in pairs charges are produced in pairs always okay right and charge this is called pair production usually we call it as in nuclear physics we call it as pair production a single positive charge or single negative charge can never be created okay whenever you are producing a positive charge you must always produce an equal amount of negative charge such that net charge in the universe remains constant net charge in the universe remains constant okay sometimes we will see only a negative charge coming out it does not mean that only negative charge produced whether we see it or not whether we can observe it or not whenever a negative charge appears to come out of any system there must be some positive charge produced okay otherwise single positive or single negative charge can never be produced okay it is like this in the case of beta decay from a neutral atom suddenly we say from the inside the nucleus one electron negatively charged electron appears to come out okay it means it looks that as if that negative charge electron got created from that atom no okay inside the nucleus what happens is a neutral particle like neutron transforms into positive proton and negative charge electron that negative charge electron is coming out such that we can see it negative positively charged proton remains inside the nucleus means whether you see that or not okay whenever you see a new charge coming out there must be an equal and what you call opposite amount of charge produced inside somewhere whether we can observe it or not okay so charges are always produced in pairs okay right it is called pair production and you cannot destroy a single negative charge or you can not destroy a single positive charge means a single electron can never be destroyed a single proton can never be destroyed okay if you want to destroy plus e amount of charge you have to destroy minus e amount of charge also simultaneously okay that is charges should also get destructed or destroyed simultaneously that's called pair annihilation okay charges are produced always in pairs or charge ch charge what you call pair annihilation means what pair annihilation 
Where annihilation means destruction of equal amounts of positive and negative charges. Whenever you want to destroy a plus e, okay, you want to dis you have to destroy minus e also. You have to destroy minus e also. Where this in nuclear physics we call it as pair annihilation. That is, charge is found to be conserved. That is, total amount of charge in the universe is remains constant. A single positive charge or single negative charge can never be created. Okay, right? Charges are always produced in pairs. Usually in nuclear physics we call it as pair production. Charges are always destroyed in pairs only. That is known as pair annihilation. Annihilation means destruction. Okay. Right. SI unit of charge is 1 coulomb. Okay. It is defined 1 coulomb. Okay. What is the fundamental unit of charge? Fundamental unit of charge is equal to 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulombs. Okay. So 1 coulomb of charge equal to how many fundamental units means how many e's of charge will be there okay means one coulomb is equal to 1 by 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 okay right one coulomb of charge equal to 1 by 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 if you simplify you will get 6.25 into 10 to the power 18 that is if 6.25 into 10 to the power 18 fundamental units of charge is there that much charge is equal to one coulomb okay if those fundamental units are negative one coulomb of negative charge will come if that is positive one coulomb of positive charge will come means in minus one coulomb of charge minus one coulomb of charge how many electrons will be there okay minus one coulomb of electric charge how many electrons are there electrons have negative charge isn't it so how many electrons are equivalent to one coulomb of negative charge 6.25 into 10 to the power 18 electrons 10 to the power 18 electrons will give rise to one coulomb of negative charge this is about the fundamental aspects of charges